Hello guys, and today's video I'm gonna make a video about the Tato X Loader or you know the emulator for Tato Type X arcades. So uh, this video, I promise you guys that I would uh, do this video like two videos before. So now it's the time and uh, let's start. So as you can see here I have my Tato Type X launcher um, in my rocket dock. But as you can see, we're going to go to the root folder of that. We're going to go to my emulator folder. And here you can see the Tato folder. So basically, um, first, um, I have, a, as you notice, I have an arcade PC loader. Which is basically the loader itself. In order to make these games work, you'll need any type of loader. Don't worry, I will give you the this specific loader in my description of the video. So... You won't have to Google it or find it around the internet, so you just have to click uh, down my video and download the program. So here it's basically this is the the all all the launcher files, and here inside the games uh, folder you'll you'll have all these different games. Of course, if you download my loader, you you won't have any games inside yet, but um, you'll have to download them uh, manually. Uh, but they are pretty tricky to find, really. They are not very easy, and um, there are some versions that don't work and versions that work. Of course, I have the versions that work. So I'm gonna leave you guys also in the description a little torrent that I that I found that was pretty interesting, pretty hard to find, but pretty interesting nonetheless. Here is the Tato Type X um, torrent that I'm gonna leave you in the description. Uh, it basically has all the the Tato Type S collection of games. Um, some games work, some not. So you have to try it out. Um, you know the games, and I'm also gonna recommend you a real a little nice page where you will be able to find more games in order to complete the collection. You'll find it here, uh, which is the this page. I'm gonna leave you also this uh, link in the description. Um, some links, if you're gonna go to here and show, some links of games don't work because th this post is really, is really, really old. Um, uh, so yeah, basically, but most 90% of the games work. The ones I remember that they don't work, it's this uh, Vitmania. This doesn't work. I wasn't able to find it, and um, I think a couple more games, uh, but not so much. Um, but yeah, most important, the most important games, they all work. Um, so yeah, basically you can find the games in the torrent and in this post. So uh, yeah, once you have the games downloaded, uh, you want to extract my launcher here, that, that the arcade PC loader I'm going to leave you. Um, you want to pass the games inside uh, each respective folder. Just, you have to keep in mind, you have to respect these uh, names of each games in case the games that you download they are not renamed the same as these the launcher is not going to recognize the games so make sure to rename the folders exactly as this uh, here for example you have the Kino Fighters 12 and inside Kino Fighters 12 you have all this crap and I also recommend you to make this bat um, I'm gonna just uh, this 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 bat um, a loader bat here, you can see that it launches typex underscore loader space game dot executable. Also, you have another bat that says launcher bat. It basically says the same typex underscore loader space game dot executable and the game bat, which is also the same crap. So, I highly recommend you to make this crap in notepad. So, you're gonna take a notepad, you're gonna type this typex loader game x, you're gonna type that in notepad. And once you type that, you're going to save as, and save as game dot bat. So that's one example to make a bat file. So you want to make that three times, one named game, one named launcher, and one named loader. And once you have these three files, you want to copy them, just select them, copy them, and just pass every single three files inside every single folder. So as you can see, you have the game launcher and loader bats in each single folder of games. I highly recommend you to do this because um, eventually these files are going to be important in order to make the loader work. 
So yeah, once you have the collection, all, all the launcher and the games uh, included, everything is in place. Uh, you want to make sure to play finally. So um, before launching the arcade itself, the arcade launcher, you're gonna make sure to open and activate your joystick. In my case, I have an Xbox One controller. We're gonna go to also. I'm gonna leave you guys the X pattern in the video description, a one that works with Windows 10 at least. So um, you want to make sure to have the X pattern in order to key your map your your keys to in order to make the to play the games because you know if you use the launcher and launch the games you won't be able to play it because the, the keys are not going to be recognized so um you're going to need the x pattern so once uh, you extract x pattern you're going to open x pattern we're going to go here and type in new and this is going to show up it's very simple it's just going to open whatever layout of joystick you have here there are a lot of examples uh, chances are that you have a, uh, one of these joysticks in your computer or game pads. Uh, my example, I have an Xbox One Pro controller. The image is not very important. You can you can place whatever image you want, just for the sake of aesthetics. Now we're gonna go in sticks. Gonna enable sticks. Now you, sh you just take your joystick and do this this the exact same that the program just tell you to. Enable the other stick. Gonna do the same. You're gonna put it on the layout and I'm gonna go to D-pad, directional pad and enable and go up, down, left and right and then we're gonna to add the buttons here yeah th this um, this part is it's pretty uh, annoying but you have to do it in order to play the, the game so I thought it was kinda cool to show you how to uh, configure um, the joysticks first so also the these little buttons here and now we're gonna go to triggers and enable the triggers and of course press the triggers um, that's the right trigger okay and then the other trigger it's right there so once you finish up um, putting all the buttons in your joypad you're gonna click uh, here for uh, I mean okay and here we go so now we're gonna uh, assign different letters for each single bottom so that the games are actually recognized so here double click here this is gonna be down this is gonna be up up arrow uh, right arrow and left arrow so now we're gonna go to the bottoms here I actually forgot something so we're gonna go and edit this um, settings uh, I, I forgot the start and the select button so yeah these buttons actually are gonna uh, function as coin and start for the arcades so now we're we're set so here start is gonna be enter or return and uh, the coins are gonna be space so now we're gonna assign the buttons here uh, we're gonna put the like Q uh, then it's gonna be W and then it's gonna be E and then we're gonna go um, and assign this A, S, and D. So that's basically the bottoms to you know to punch the low punch, medium punch, high punch, low kick, medium kick, and high kick. We got the start. Uh, we got the coins, and we got the movement. If you want to use the thumbsticks, that's completely alright. You can change it here. You can assign whatever thumbsticks. But I personally don't like playing arcade games uh, with thumbsticks. I like playing with D-pad. Uh, so yeah, once you do that, you're just gonna click here. Um, you're gonna now here, and we're gonna save as whatever profile you want to save. Uh, for my case it's Tato, make sure to save it because if you don't save it and close the program next time you open it it's gonna be not configured at all so yeah so yeah we're basically done you can close this uh, even though you can close it the program is gonna stay here open so don't worry about that and now we're officially um, enabled to play the emulator so now we're gonna open the Tato Type X launcher the loader and here first time you open it you probably won't see the icons uh, the icons are gonna be showing if your game is it was correctly named in the folder as I told you before um, in this collection I don't have these games the ones that have the cross I don't have them uh, or it's because they don't work I personally didn't download Beatmania 
King of Fighters Maximum Impact Regulation A, I wasn't able to make it work, as well as King of Fighters 98, and Automedius, I couldn't, I wasn't able to find it, as well as Stays in Hot Gimmick 5. The, all the other games, I personally test them one by one, and they all work perfectly well. So now let's go and make it a little demonstration on how to play, um, let's say, I don't know, King of Fighters, uh, yeah, maybe Super Street Fighter or Street Fighter 4. Before executing the game, you obviously have to um, tell the computer what kind of controls you're going to use. So we're going to go here, all console, set up keys, and here you're going to type in your keyboard, no, 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 and just start. Now you're going to type the, you're going to take your controller and use up, down, left, right. Um, I mean, if it's a PlayStation controller, is square. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Sorry about that. We're gonna make all this all this again. I'm gonna go to set of keys. No, 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 enter. Now let's go up, down, left, right, square, triangle, L1, X circle, R1. Now start and the coin keys and the other keys are not are not use are you just useless if you're just gonna play by yourself no player two needed so now you have your controller configured everything is done you can change the video resolution in my case I'm gonna change this resolution in windowed mode keep in mind there are some games that the resolution of the video they won't really work so you can change whatever you want but at the end of the day the resolution is gonna be bypassed I don't know why I tried everything I, I even tried a borderless uh, program that it's designed to make you know games work in windowed mode but it doesn't work either so um, yeah basically some games work some games don't work the resolution video is kind of an ass so uh, I know for search and for sure that Street Fighter 4 actually uh, is one of the games that that does work uh, with the resolution so uh, let's gonna test it out I'm gonna make some a couple of matches and show you how it works so now we're gonna double click on the game and let's start Street Fighter 4 Welcome to the world of Street It's survival of the fittest on a global scale Who among the challengers will make it to the top? Whoever wins this one will have their name engraved in the pantheon of world warriors. Are you ready? Fight! Yeah. Yeah. I'm not Okay guys, so that was pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna show you another game just for the sake of the video to make it more entertaining. Um, keep in mind a little detail that I forgot to mention guys also. Is that you should open your antivirus and disable the real-time protection. Because there are some certain games here, especially Rating 4 I think it was. Or uh, I don't remember well, probably Arcana Hearth. Uh, there are some games that have some issues with the antivirus and the antivirus actually recognize some files as uh, you know false positives so you can obviously add to the exceptions these games or you just can close the antivirus or whatever so now we're gonna try another another game <clears throat> um, you're gonna try probably I don't know Kino fighters 
Uh, I don't think the resolution is going to work well, but we're going to try. King of Fighters 12. Well, the resolution actually works, so that's a big plus. ようこそ、キングオブファイターズへ。試合はスリーオンスリーの勝ち抜きタイムトライアル形式です。五つのステージで試合を行い、その合計時間を競います。セレクトユーメンバー。セレクトリーオーダー。Round one! Ready? Aside, guys. Um, so this was the Tato X type or Tato Type X uh, tutorial on how to play those games. I'll have to make sure to practice a little bit more of Kino Fighters 12 because I really suck. So uh, yeah, that was basically it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, make sure to check the video description to download all the necessary files. And see you next time. You can always go to grabsoftnet.com, uh, register to my forum to find some interesting things. Um, so yeah, basically it's that. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, see you next time. Uh, have a good day. Have a nice weekend or whatever. And bye.